Hi, it's Pavel with a C++ homework from the book uh, Starting Out with C++ from Control Structures to Objects. Uh, this is from Chapter 5, Exercise 11, and we'll be using some loops, uh, writing a program that will predict the size of a population of organisms. The program should ask the user for the starting number of organisms, their average daily population increase as a percentage, and the uh, number of days they will they will multiply. A loop should display the size of the population for each day. So not just the, the overall number at the end, but you know throughout the, each day of within the loop. Now we need to do some input validations, like uh, do not accept a number less than two for the starting size of the population, and do not accept a negative number for average daily population increase. And do not accept a number less than one for the number of days they will multiply. So we basically need to uh, verify everything the uh, user inputs. And that's the first thing we need to do before we even do any looping or any you know, manipulation. We have to make sure that the input is valid. So let's get to it. So we need the uh, start population. Uh, I have it as double because uh, we will be at the end. Uh, there's going to be actually to be a float, and the reason for that is uh, that we, when we do the calculations with the percentages and all that, we need a at a float, and this will uh, enables us to have the result in float directly without too much of a conversions. Okay, so we have that. Um, now, number of days, that's the input from the user uh, as well. So, uh, number of days, this is how, this is basically how many times we will, our loop will be iterating. It's just an integer. And uh, we can do a float uh, average increase. 0.0f so uh, that's uh, the average daily population increase again that's something that the user enters and uh, finally we need a float uh, for our daily population now obviously daily population should be integer. You know, you cannot have one and a half uh, people or one and a half of any animal, but uh, this is statistics. So for that purpose, you do use uh, decimal decimal numbers. Okay, it's, a, it's like that. All right, so, and of course equal. When I talk, I cannot write. All right, so let's ask the user for the input. See out and uh, please enter starting number of organisms. Okay, and uh, we will obviously uh, store that information in our start population variable. Okay, so uh, before we enter anything else, let's validate that the user entered the correct information. Remember, it's supposed to be, we, not, we do not accept a number less than two for the starting size of the population. So we could just do if, if statement, if starting start population is less than two. The thing is that after uh, we wanna, we wanna, you, we want the user to enter the correct number all the time. If you use if statement, after the if statement executes, you know, the user will enter the number again, let's say. But then after that, there is not, no more check. In other words, we want to loop through his uh, uh, response until the, the entrance, the, the, the value that the user entered is correct. That's why I use while loops. So while start population is less than two, 
I will simply tell the user to correct the uh, correct the input. The starting um, population cannot be less than two. Please re-enter. And once again, whatever the user enter will be our start population. If he enters it incorrectly, you check it again, incorrect, we'll display this again and then ask him you know, to uh, enter the number again. And then again and again until this is correct, until this is greater than two, then this is false and the body of the loop is skipped and the program moves on. So the next thing we need to uh, we need to capture from the user is the uh, number of days the the organisms will multiply. So please enter the number of days the population multiplies. I think I misspelled it. Multiplies. Multiplies. Yeah, there you go. And not a big deal. And again, this is going to be our uh, number of days. So we do the same thing like we did over here. We'll simply check that the number of days is uh, uh, what do they want us to do? We're going to some negative number for average daily population with and do not accept a number less than one for the number of days they will multiply. So over here, we will change this to uh, until number of days or while number of days is less than one. The number of days, the number of days cannot be less than one. Please re enter, and we got our number of days. All right, so. Uh, Next thing, uh, what do we need? We need the uh, average daily increase, right? It's uh, see out. It's the it's the same principle like the previous two. Uh, please enter uh, uh, average daily increase in population it's supposed to be in percentages in other words the user will enter whatever let's say they enter 20 that's 20 percent so i'll just say like this in percentages and let's get the input sin and that's the average increase and once again, we'll check the input and make sure that it's uh, correct and repeat the, the, uh, the alert to the user if it's incorrect, as long as it's needed, basically, as long as uh, the input is incorrect, the loop will be uh, looping. <laughs> All right, so uh, what's the validation in this one? Do not accept negative number four daily population increase. So if our, or while our average increase is less than zero, the average, average uh, increase in population cannot be negative. Please re-enter, and now we have the average increase okay so this is our input from the user now let's do the actual calculation and display the output and we'll use uh, a for loop in this case uh, i equals one remember the number of days in other words the number of iterations cannot be less than uh, less than one a number less than one uh, do not accept the number less than one for the number of days. So we start with one i is less or equal to 
the number of days and we are going to increase with every iteration and over here uh, first let's calculate calculate uh, increase which is basically our daily population and it is going to be our average increase our, uh, divided by 100 remember we're working with percentages here so uh, that's why plus start, time start population and uh, plus oh I'm sorry like this this is one block of uh, the uh, calculation and then we'll add the start population to it again uh, basically what it does remember the user will enter let's say 20 uh, or 50 or whatever whatever the average increase is so if it's 50 for example we'll get 0 0.5 time to start population that will give us the actual increase and we'll add the start population to it okay so that's the calculation and now we can display it display output and that's going to be simply uh, C out uh, population for day remember we're supposed to output every day the number of population for each day so in other words here it will say population for day plus i which in this case would be one at, at the beginning population for day one and i forgot this uh, is part of the spaces and uh, uh, not plus c i'm in c sharp <laughs> It's supposed to be just like without a plus, of course. And uh, what it is, it, it is the, uh, the daily population, the result of our uh, calculation is daily population and line because we need, need to move to another line. Uh, like I said, each line will hold one day. so. Let's say user enters five days, so this will read population for day one is, and the result then it goes again population for day i equals two now is, then i equals three, four, and five finally, and it's each of the of those days will be output on a, a separate line. Okay, so. Uh, see we can test that I guess gonna build and run and uh, oh, I already know what I what I need to do uh, you, you'll see it yourself when we, when we run this so if I say a number of organisms to begin with let's say 10 number of days multiplies 5 and I take 20% 20, 20 we have the same result for each day I mean it loops obviously for day 1, 2, 3 but it all equals 12 and the reason for that is that we forgot to add oh, the population increase uh, our start population for the next day uh, is, is now equal to the daily population all right whatever this is this is for day one that's the start population of day two otherwise our start population would be only whatever the user enters at the beginning so if i run it again we should see some uh, actual difference uh, in those days so again let's start with 10 5 days and 20 and you can see how it increases. All right, so that there you have it. Fairly simple. Uh, 
let's uh, let's recap quickly. We're doing the calculations in floats because we need decimals. That's why I have uh, these that's in floats instead of uh, you know integers. Could use doubles, but floats are fine. We we'll collect the input, we validate the input, and we we'll loop through the uh, user user answer or the user input until it is correct. All three values are uh, all three input values are then. Uh, uh, plugged into our uh, for loop and into our calculation. We do the calculation uh, simply by the average increase that the user entered divided by 100 to get the percentage and multiply it by the star population. And then we'll add that to the star population. That will give us the daily population for each day. Now, we will, at the end, we, will, we need to add that daily population to our start population, which is our start population of the next day. All right, so I hope it helped you, uh, and I'll see you next time. Take care.